In this video, you're going to learn how to use the index match function combination when the values you want to match with are not unique. I'll show you how to do this vertically or in columns, and then we'll also have a look at how to do it both vertically and horizontally at the same time. And at the end of the video, I'll show you how to use data validation so you don't have to keep typing in the values that you want to look up. And if you'd like to grab a copy of the template that I use in this video, just click on the link in the description below. Okay, let's go to Excel now and see how this is done. Okay, so what we have here is a sales report and we want to use index match to look up some results in the budget and actual units and amounts sold. But the problem is in our area column, we have multiple instances of the same values. So there's four areas, north, south, east, and west, and they each appear three times in this report. And then in the product column, we have three different products, a Sony camera, a Canon camera, and a tripod, and each area sells those same products. So those products appear multiple times in that column. So we don't actually have a unique value for each row that we can look up as it stands at the moment. So in other words, if we want to look up, say the budget units sold for the South area, and the Sony camera product, we can't do it with just a simple index match. We need to take an extra step, and that extra step is to create a unique value for each row. Okay, so the way that you do that is you insert another row, and you can do that anywhere. I'll just do it over on the left here. And we're going to create what's called a match helper. So I'm just going to type that in here. And the match helper is going to be the unique value for each row that we're going to look up. So if we have a look down the areas and the products, we can see that if we concatenate them together, we will get a unique value for each row. So what I mean by that is if I type in equals and then I select that cell there for north and then type in an ampersand and then select this cell here and then press enter, and I'll just move that across again. We get this value North Sony camera, and it doesn't matter if there's a space in there, that's fine. And then if I drag this down so that we're concatenating the area and product for each line, we now have a unique value for each line that we can look up, which will make our index match combination work. Okay, so I'll just show you before we go on that one way to create that match helper and to concatenate these things together is to select the cells and put the ampersand in the middle like I've just done. Or you can press equals concat and open the brackets and then select that one and comma and that one, close the brackets and press enter. So that's the same thing. And the other thing you can do is press equals and use the full concatenate function. Choose that cell, comma, that cell, close the brackets and enter. So it doesn't matter which one you use, you end up with the same match helpers. Okay, so now if we come over here to where we wanted to look up the budget units sold for South and Sony camera, we now have this value that we can look up. So let's click in here and start our index match function combination. So we'll type in equals and index, open the brackets. Now the array, because we are going to be looking up just the budget unit sold, we'll just select the data in that particular column down there and then press comma. And now we do match. Okay, now the lookup value is going to be this and this combined. So I've used the ampersand here to create my lookup value, but just like I did in the match helper column, I could have used the concat or concatenate functions instead. Okay, so we've got that, I'll press comma. The lookup array is actually our match helpers over here, comma. We want an exact match, so it's zero. Close the brackets and close the brackets again. And press enter. 
and we get the value 10. So that's the budget units sold for the South area and the product Sony camera right there. Okay, so what if we want to look up the actual units sold for the same area and product? We can use basically the same function, but I'll just go in here and I'll just anchor in some of these. So just F4 there, 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 and there. So everything's anchored in and that will allow me to just drag this formula down and then because we're looking up actual units sold, we just need to move our index array over here. Okay, so now it's still looking up South Sony camera. It's still looking up the same match helpers. And this time it's returning the result from the actual units column. And the result is 12 and that's correct. Okay, and now we can do the same thing for budget amount sold. If we just move this across here and we get 10,000 as our result and then I'll just drag it down one more time, move this across to the actual amount column for our index and 12,000 is our result, which is correct. Okay. So that's how we can look up those four things. And then obviously if I come up here and I change that to North, Okay, you can see that's looking up the North Sony camera row now and it's returning all those values. And of course, if we change this product, it's going to look up North and tripod and return all those values. Okay, so that's how you can use index match when you've got multiple criteria to look up by column. So what if you actually wanted instead to look up say North tripod and you wanted to be able to choose between budget and actual or units and amount. So if we have a look at these headings at the top, you can see that we have the same problem that we had when we were looking at the columns where we've got these criteria in there more than once. So budgets in there more than once, actuals in there more than once, units is in there more than once and amount is in there more than once. So what we need to do is create a match helper along the top there. And we'll come up here and type in equals D4 ampersand and D5. Okay, and I'll just drag that across. Okay, so as you can see now, each column there now has a unique value along the top in row three. So what we can do is we can look up our match helper horizontally, and we can also look up our match helper vertically. And just to be thorough, I'll just come over here and type in match helper. Okay, so let's go. So we'll type in equals index. The array is going to be all of these cells here that contain all of the different results that we want to look up. And then we'll press comma. Okay, now we need to find the row number and we're going to do that with a match function. And the value we're going to look up is this one and this one again, comma, the lookup array is going to be the match helper over there that we made at the beginning. And we'll type in zero because we want that to be exact, comma. And now we're back to the index function and we need to find the column number, which is another match. This time the lookup value is going to be this and this, comma. And we're going to look up this other match helper array over here, comma, zero for exact match, close the brackets on our match and close the brackets on our index and press enter. Okay, and we get a result of 15. So that's the north area, the product is the tripod and we're looking for the budget units. And as you can see, 15 is the correct result. If we come over here and we change that to actual, the result changes to 12. And once again, that's correct. So now we've used an index match match combination to do a lookup both horizontally and vertically, where we had multiple criteria, both horizontally and vertically. Okay, so the last thing I wanna show you is just how to make your life a bit easier without having to type in all of these variables all the time. And you can do that with data validation. So over here, 
where we want to pick the area, we can just go to data and data validation and data validation again and choose list and the list will be here. Okay, so we've got north, south, east, west there um, as our options. So now we can just go ahead and click on whichever one we want. And as you can see, that's changing the results and all the lookups below. And you can do the same thing for the other ones as well. So you could do data validation over here, make a list and that could be just those three and okay. So now you can choose the product much more easily than just typing it in. And you can do one over here for actual and budget. So we can just grab those two, for example, actual and budget, and then units and amount. Like so. And now you can go ahead and just change any one of these without having to type it in. Okay, so that's how you can use index and match when you've got multiple criteria to look up.